What are you doing here? Where are the Englishmen? Oh, didn't you know? Off on a sketching tour. <laughs> they will never be missed. I miss them. And I miss the fees. They pay me for modeling. Oh, I shall have to go back to Karel. The draft is a railway station. If you choose, you can put all that nonsense behind you forever. And do what? Starve? Not if you put your trust in me, absolutely. Not if you do exactly what I tell you to do. I don't think I fancy myself as a street musician. You never listen to me, do you? When I play that piano, I play it for you. But you look the other way and smoke a cigarette. You look at the pictures on the wall. You look out of the window, at the sky, at the chimney pots. Everywhere except at me. Only when you have the headache. Then. Only then do you listen to Sven Gali. You think I'm not grateful? I want more than that. How much more? I want to give back to the world of music through you, Il Bel Canto. What's Il Bel Canto? The music of the spheres. Sounds which only I can create in the human throat. And only in your throat, Trippi. But I sing like a duck. You said so. You are not listening to me again. You are looking out of the window. Look a little lower, on the other side of the river. There is a little gray, ugly building. It is called a morgue. And in it are eight slanting slabs of brass, all in a row. And one day you will lie and sleep on one of those slabs. You, Trilby, because you would not listen to Svengali. And over you will lie a leather apron. And over your head, a brass tap. And all day long, and all night long, the cold water will trickle all down your long, white, beautiful body. And strangers will come and stare at you through the glass window and say, ah, what a beautiful young woman. She ought to be riding in her carriage and pair. And then who should come riding by in his carriage and pair, in a rich fur coat and smoking a big cigar? But Sven Gari, with the world at his feet. And I will stand and look at you and laugh. Why? Because you prefer to be in love with Billy than to conquer the world with me. <laughs> Very well, laugh. Laugh. But the day will come when you will need me. And on that day, somewhere a clock will strike twelve. And you will feel me call to you. And you will come to me. Lord, be silly. You find me very comic, don't you? A scarecrow, a bogeyman. But inside I am just as alive as Billy. I feel just as he does. I weep and I laugh, I love and I hate. But he looks down his nose and sees only his feet. I look inward at my dream. And my dream is for you, Trilby. To lay my fortune, my genius, my glory at your feet. <laughs> <laughs> You're mad! You will never laugh at me again! <laughs> 